Hi there, welcome. Today we're going to learn how to remove a white background from a picture. So first, I went to remove.bg. So another website that I love to use as well, remove.bg, sometimes doesn't uh, take away the whiteness as clear as I would like it to. So sometimes I use the other website called online photoscissors.com so it's the photo scissors.com and this is a really good website to automatically remove background from your photos color photos as you see solid photos so now that you have those two what you need to do is though when you are looking for things to use in a Google Slides you have to make sure that you look for the tools for copyrights like label for you reuse with modification because if you're going to use this and resell your Google Slides then you need to make sure that it's labeled for reuse with modification you cannot just have any type of photo because there's copyright issues and you can get into legal troubles so what I like to do is because since I'm using this on YouTube which is a commercial platform I'm going to search for a reuse with modification photo so I don't get into legal trouble but if you're just doing it for fun and you're just doing it for your classroom or you're just doing it for yourself or your family then you can go ahead and you don't need to have all this usage rights you could just have not filtered by license but this is just a tip for people who are using things to sell or using things for monetary funds you know so I'm going to do label for you for reuse with modification and the plant that I wanted to use is this house plant. Now I'm going to right click the house plant then I will save image as house plant and it will automatically save into my folder. See it's in my show in my finder so I will X out and I will double click it because I want it to appear in my recent photo so that's my house plant then I click the insert button at the top right corner and I click upload from computer you will notice that the houseplant has a white background so right here's the houseplant you'll see that it has a white background now in order for me to get rid of that white grayish background I will need to delete that go to remove background move.bg upload image then I will go into my recents and I will click on the houseplant to open and within seconds you'll have a prepared remove background see how quickly that was all you have to do now is download and then again you'll see it in your finder right see house plant and the cool thing about this is when you look it'll say remove BG remove BG which means remove background so that means it's pixelated it has no white background it is transparent so I'll go back to my Google Slides and I will insert my houseplant. Click right insert image, upload from computer, and click recent. And houseplant, not this one, the houseplant remove. Super important that it's remove, open, and now your houseplant is transparent. And do you see that cool difference? So remove b.bg is really cool for that. The same thing, you can do the same thing at photoscissors.com, upload image, you just click your houseplant, original houseplant that you would like to remove the background. And then within seconds, your houseplant is transparent. And the cool thing about photo scissors is if you don't like it, you can play around with it and make it more transparent. As you see, it's green, and this one is transparent. Then you'll save it. I like it in low resolution because I'm just using it for Google Slides. And that's but the thing about photo scissors is it doesn't say remove dot background so you'll have to insert that yourself like remove background or you can just say houseplant transparent because it is a transparent houseplant. So you can write that if you'd like so that when it appears in the finder you'll know what it is so you'll go back to your Google Slides and again we'll insert upload from computer go to your recents and you'll see both of them but remember this one is houseplant transparent from photo scissors you'll click open and you see now they look very similar right 
Isn't that cool? So both websites are really good to use. Very similar, even though you use two different websites to the same. So you choose on what you feel like is comfortable. Um, the thing I love about remove.bg is when you download it, it already says remove background in the file. You don't have to edit it. Folder scissors, you have to edit it. But what I like about folder scissors is it has a green um, slate that you're seeing right here. And you can play around with it and edit it more as you go. So you choose what you like. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.